I'm Jerry. Welcome to Desk Days Reboot. I love the beach. I've got my shell. I haven't gotten there much lately. In fact, most of my surfing has been on the web. I've been spending a lot of time on my computer. Today's workout is going to focus on getting some relief for the wrists, shoulders, and necks for those of us who spend quite a bit of time on our computers. We're gonna need a few props for today's program. So you might wanna gather these before you get started. A handkerchief, you could use a washcloth if you don't have a handkerchief or a bandana, an old belt or a tie would work also. A towel, this is a really wide, thick beach towel which works really well. You could also use a blanket that's about the size and shape of a beach towel. You're gonna to roll it up like I've rolled up mine. And you might want a blanket or a wide flat pillow to go under your knees because we're gonna do some work on our hands and knees. So this workout is gonna start in the mountains and then bring you down to the beach for a relaxation and meditation at the end. So let's get started standing. So we're gonna start with mountain pose, Tadasana. Start by finding your feet. Spread out your toes, take a look, notice what it feels like to really plant your feet into the ground. You can bend and straighten your knees a few times if that helps you get a sense of the ground. You can sense that your hips are balanced over the centers of your ankles. Your shoulders are balanced over your hips. Your ears are balanced over your shoulders. And for just a moment, if you want to, you can place your hands on the crown of the head and just imagine that the very top of your head is lifting up to meet your hands, creating a sense of length and space through the whole spine and all the way down through your legs. So once you've found that, let the arms come down. Palms are just slightly forward. That helps keep the chest open, the heart high. You can keep your eyes open or if you want to, you can close them and just start to notice the natural rhythm of your breathing pattern. Notice where in your body you have an experience of breath. And then as we stand in this mountain pose, we're going to imagine that the breath could actually start in the feet. And as we breathe in, imagine that breath coming up the front of the body, the knees, the fronts of the hips, the belly, chest, all the way to the top of the head. And as we exhale, imagine that breath cascading down the back of the head, the shoulders, the hips, back down through the heels and into the ground. So as we inhale, the breath comes up the front of our mountain. And exhaling, the breath slides down the back of the mountain. Try that about three more times on your own. Inhale, the breath comes up the front of the mountain. And exhale down the back of the mountain twice more at your own tempo. And then you're welcome to open your eyes once again if they were closed. And we're just going to get some freedom for our arms and shoulders. So if it works for you, reach up. If that doesn't work, you could reach out or to the sides instead. So if it works for you to reach, you could even imagine that you're trying to pick fruit off the top of the tree. Go ahead and let your legs move as you stretch and reach. Oh, stretching out through the fingers, getting some movement. Notice what you feel on the sides of the body. And you're still breathing, just a few more. And then both arms at once, reaching up. And then we're gonna bend the elbows into a cactus shape. 
And at the same time, we're gonna bend our knees into a little bit of a squat. Just bend to a safe level for your knees. So we're gonna call this cactus squat. As we inhale, reach up and extended mountain. Exhale, cactus squat. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, cactus squat. One more like that. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, cactus squat. So here's where we're gonna use that handkerchief. So go ahead and pick it up. Again, this could be a washcloth or an old belt, whatever works for you. And we're gonna take it behind the back. I'll turn around so you can see. And we're gonna hold both sides of that uh, handkerchief with both hands. As we pull the shoulders back and down, we're gonna find a sense of expansion across the chest. So in this, chest expansion stretch we're going to bend those knees back into just a little bit of a chair pose and then if it's accessible to you you can fold forward you also have the option to stay upright everybody everybody's body is a little bit different so do what is appropriate and helpful for you so if you want to fold forward that works for you go for it and you can bring that hanky a little higher a little more toward the ceiling and then we're gonna put the hands in the hanky on the low back and roll up like a wave when it rolls onto the beach. So we're gonna put all of those movements together. Go ahead and take your hanky with you. So here we go. Exhale, feel loose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus squat. Inhale, hands behind, grab that hanky for chest expansion. Exhale, folding or staying upright. Hands to the low back. Inhale, roll up like a wave coming onto the beach. Exhale, let your arms fall at your sides. Keeping that hanky in one hand. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, cactus squat. Stay in your squat. Inhale, chest expansion, holding the hinky. Exhale, fold it over. Arms up. Hands to your low back. Inhale, roll up like a wave. Imagine that water gently rolling onto the beach. Exhale, keep your hanky in one hand. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, cactus squat. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold. Hands and hanky to the low back. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, let your arms drop. Go ahead and let that hanky go for now. We're going to make a double fist and just gently roll out the wrists a little bit. Just getting some freedom and mobility there. And then just kind of shake the hands like little helicopters. One hand to one hip, inhale the other arm up. Exhale, easy little side bend. Inhale, come out of that. Exhale, arm down, tip over, and then just turn your arm like you're uh, maybe uh, unscrewing a lid and just find that arm bone loose in the shoulder joint. Shake it a little bit gently. Come on up. Pause in mountain pose and just notice your two sides and if they feel different. Side two. Hand to hip. Other arm lifts. Big breath in. Exhale. Tip it over. Inhale. Come up. Tip over the other way. And just kind of turn that arm in the shoulder joint. Just notice some freedom, looseness there. And then come on back up. And we're going to use our hanky for one more thing. So taking the hanky in one hand, take that arm up high, bend the elbow. The other hand comes around behind the back. And see if you can get a hold of the other end of the hanky. If it doesn't reach, you might need a longer strap or an old belt. 
So see if you can make contact there and imagine that lifted elbow getting a little higher to the ceiling and the other arm is just kind of hanging out but you're getting a stretch in the lower front shoulder. Notice that's your breathing and take one more breath there. You're gonna let go of the hanky with the bottom hand first. Top hand just kind of comes across the face. Switch the hanky to the other hand. Take that arm up and bend the elbow. Reach around with the bottom hand and see if you can reach. Another option if you can't reach is to just kind of hold on to your shirt. That's totally fine. And then just take a couple of breaths there. That top elbow gently reaching up toward the ceiling. Noticing if you feel stretch in the front of your bottom shoulder. One more big breath there. Release the bottom hand from the hanky. Slide the top arm across the face. Let that go. Before we come onto our hands and knees, we're just gonna do a little easy swing through the arms and shoulders to get some rotation through the spine. So inhale one way, exhale the other. Just let your arms be loose and free. One more inhale and exhale, twisting it out. And here we go. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees. I'm gonna use a blanket under my knees for a little bit of extra padding. Up to you. So once I'm on my hands and knees, I'm gonna get a sense of my fingertips pressing into the ground to give me stability, building that hand strength. And we're gonna start with cow-cat. So dropping the belly, lift the chest and breathe in. As you exhale, engage your abdominals, round the back, exhale, cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest for cow. Exhale, round the back for cat. Three more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Feel the abdominals. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now, if you've got some knee situation and it's not okay to bend more than 90 degrees, you can stay up here and wiggle around and just notice what you can stretch. If it's okay to bend the knees, you can come into child's pose. If that's working for you, you can come up on the fingertips like you're playing the piano. So you're gonna keep the palms and the elbows up and take the forehead to the floor for a little bit of a shoulder stretch in child's pose. Take a few breaths there, just notice. One more breath in that position. And then we're gonna come back to hands and knees. Use your abdominals to help get you there. And we're gonna do a little bit of wrist stretching. So turn one set of fingers backwards so your fingers are pointing towards your knee. And then see if you can gently move the palm a little bit closer to the floor. It's totally fine if it doesn't go all the way to the mat. And then easy does it. As you inhale, rock forward ever so slightly. Exhale, maybe you can rock it back just a teens. Be gentle here a couple of times, rocking forward and back with the breath. So my fingers are still gonna be pointed toward my knee, but I'm gonna flip the palm over so now the back of the hand is on the mat. And again, as I inhale ever so slightly, move forward. Exhale ever so slightly, pull back. Just see how much range of motion is safe for your wrist. And then let that go. Give it a little roll, nice and easy. And we'll do the other side. So flip your other fingers back so they're pointing toward the knee. Doesn't matter if the palm doesn't touch all the way down. Little rock forward on in breath, little rock back on out breath. Easy, don't overdo this. 
Notice that you're breathing. Stay aware of your breath. Keeping the fingers toward the knee, flip it over. So now the back of the hand is on the mat and a few breaths there. Maybe with a little bit of gentle movement. And then roll that wrist out. So we're gonna do a little bit of a, a stretch for the wrist. This one can feel a little awkward when you're new to it. So hang in there and give it a go. We're gonna take the hands off the mat with the fingers pointed away from the mat on both sides. So they get really wide, fingers pointed out. Now I'm gonna look at my right elbow and I'm gonna to start to bend my right elbow. My other arm stays straight. As I start to move my nose toward my right elbow, I press the other side of the chest toward the mat. I might even put my temple down. Use your abdominals to help get you out of that. And we'll do the other side. So look at your other elbow. Start to bend that elbow. As you move your nose toward your elbow, the other chest comes down, the temple plants, maybe. Coming up, we're gonna do that moving breath by breath. So exhale, move toward one bending elbow. Inhale, come up. Exhale, move toward your other bending elbow. Inhale, come up. One more time to each side. Notice if you feel that stretch in the biceps, the front of the shoulder. Last exhale, second side. Use your abdominals to help yourself come back into a standard hand position under the shoulders. Just kind of notice. Okay, we're gonna do one more shoulder stretch. So we're gonna take one palm right under the center of the chest so the other arm can lift and we can twist open a little bit. Reach up for the sky, big breath. Now you're gonna take that lifted arm and thread it under the other arm so you can lay the outer shoulder and ear down. The hand that's closest to your face, you can stretch that arm out with those piano fingers like we did before. And just take a couple of breaths here, noticing what you feel in your shoulders. To come out, the piano finger hand comes next to the face again to press you up. Both hands on the floor. Now we're gonna switch sides. So the other hand comes under the chest. Opposite arm lifts. Reach up, 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 breathe in. Exhaling, thread the arm under. Lay the outer shoulder and ear down. The hand that's near your face can stretch out with piano fingers if you want to. Take a couple of breaths. Just notice what you feel in your shoulders. To come out of that, the arm that's up there in piano fingers next to the face to press you out. So we're gonna do something called shoulder push-ups to bring awareness to the shoulder blades. So first, find your abdominals so that your low back is pretty still. So use your abdominals to hold your low back pretty still. Now you're gonna let your chest drop toward the floor a little bit so that your shoulder blades kind of move toward your spine. Now we're gonna push into the fingers and pull the shoulder blades away from the spine so the upper back gets really broad. We'll do that a few times. Inhale to let the shoulder blades fall in. Exhale to push them wide. Just a couple more. Inhale, this is shoulder blade retraction. Exhale, this is shoulder blade protraction. We'll do one more. Breathe into the retracted shoulder blades. Exhale, protracted shoulder blades. Awesome. So we're gonna come on to our back. So we're actually gonna use that rolled up beach towel now. So put the, the rolled up towel, or you could be using a blanket, along through the center of the mat. You're gonna sit on one end of the roll. 
and then your spine is going to go down onto the roll so that your head and neck are supported by the rolled up towel. So just see how that feels. I'm going to get my blanket out of the way. See if that feels okay. If it doesn't feel okay, you can do these exercises without the roll. So you could just be flat on the floor and that would be fine. You can have your hands on your belly or you can take them down at your sides, whatever works for you. And first, just take a few moments to notice what this feels like. Check in and make sure it's all okay and reconnect to the rhythm of your breath. Just notice it. And start to imagine that your breath could start in your tailbone. And as you inhale, that breath rolls up toward the crown of the head like a golden sunlight rolling up. And as you exhale, just imagine that light rolling back from the top of your head all the way back down to your tail. And if you want to experiment with that feeling of light rolling from the tail to the head on the in-breath, Rolling from the top of the head to the tail on the out breath. A few more times, your own visualization, your own breath tempo. Keeping awareness on that breath. We're going to lift the arms as though you were holding a big beach ball with your arms. And as you breathe in, you're going to lift that ball up toward the ceiling and you'll notice that your shoulder blades come up, kind of like they did when we protracted them a moment ago. And then as you exhale, you're going to pull those shoulder blades down around the rolled up towel, pulling that imaginary ball closer to you. So as you inhale, reach up, shoulder blades protract. As you exhale, pull the shoulders down into retraction. That imaginary beach ball gets closer. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down a couple more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down, neck is relaxed. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. So notice the palms are facing each other. We're gonna take one hand up by the ear, up by the head, so the thumb might touch the floor. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go that far. The other arm's gonna come down by the leg, so the baby finger comes onto the floor. We're gonna call this scissor arms. So as you inhale, switch your arms. And as you exhale, switch your arms. We'll do this a few more times. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. One more time. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Keep your breath going. The arm by your ear, keep it there. Other arm lifts up as well. Now again, if your arms don't come all the way to the floor, that's totally fine. You can bend your elbows if you need to make it a little bit less pressure. We're gonna play with making a sand angel today. So breathe in here and then when you're ready to exhale, just let the arms slide down to the sides of the legs. If you've got something going on in your shoulder, you might need to adapt so that the range of motion is less. As you inhale, sand angel up towards your ears, any amount. Exhale, sweep back down to the sides. We're just going to do this two more times. Notice your available range of motion. Inhale, sand angel up. Exhale, down. One more for good measure. 
Inhale, circle up. And exhale, circle down. We're gonna roll off of the uh, towel onto one side gently. And then nice and easy, just press yourself up and we're gonna turn the towel so that it's horizontal to the mat. And we're gonna see how this feels to go under the neck. So I'm gonna lie down with a towel roll under my neck. Now, if it's too tall, you may need to unroll the towel part way, okay? So it's comfortable or you can just get rid of it if it doesn't work at all, okay? So see how it feels to your neck. And then we're gonna take the feet as wide as the mat, toes in, and let the knees just prop each other up. If they don't touch, that's totally fine. This is called constructive rest with the legs. So we're just gonna let those legs be nice and easy here. That'll give a release to that front hip area while we're focusing on the neck. Hands can be on your belly or palms up at your sides. First, just slowly turn the head a little bit from side to side and just check in with the neck. Just notice any sensation. And then with the head slightly turned to one side, the chin goes up and down just a little bit, massaging the base of the skull into that rolled up towel. Nice and easy, other side, turn your head. And a very slight chin up and down as you massage the base of the skull into that towel roll, or you could be doing this with no roll also. And then head back in the center. So if your uh, head and neck are comfortable, you can keep them on this roll. If you want to remove it, you can. We're going to take the elbows all the way across the chest. So one elbow is on top of the other and the arms just sort of hang. This will widen your back. Take a few breaths, just noticing the contact of your back on the floor. So you have one elbow on top, Pick a, uh, separate your knees, whichever elbow's on top, tip your knees in that same direction. So I've got my right elbow on top, my knees are tipping to the right. So your, that top arm starts to reach in the opposite direction from your knees and the other arm can help it along a little bit. The hand that's reaching, look a little bit toward that hand and notice that you're in a bit of a twist here. Take a breath. Use a little bit of abdominal to come out of that with the arms and then the legs. Now notice which elbow was on top and switch your elbows as your knees once again fall toward each other to prop each other up. Constructive rest, take a few breaths here, noticing the contact between your back and the floor. So notice which elbow is your top elbow. Separate the knees a little bit. Whichever elbow's on top, tip your knees that way. And then the arm reaches away from those legs. The other arm can help it along. And you can turn and look at your hand. A Little bit of a twist, take a big breath here. Use your abdominals to safely help your arms out of that position, your legs out of that position. And we're gonna move that blanket or that towel out from under the head. Bring the knees to the chest, curl up in a little beach ball shape. If this bothers the knees, you can hold the backs of the legs and just rock a little bit like a beach ball. Just noticing how your back feels on the ground.
And then I'll give you about a two minute meditation if you would like it today. If you're out of time, you can come back to the meditation at another time. So you can either rest with your feet flat on the floor on your knees bent, or you can straighten the legs all the way into a traditional Shavasana shape. You can rest with the palms up at your sides, or you might choose to place them on your belly. Just take a few breaths and notice what it feels like to stretch out on the floor and to really let yourself be supported by the ground. Staying in your restful position, just note that I'm going to sit up so that my voice is a little bit more clear for the camera. But you're resting in this shape on the ground. And begin to imagine that the ground underneath you is warm, soft, dry sand. Picture your body resting in that warm, dry, soft sand. And notice the shape that your body makes in that sand. The shape of your legs in the sand your back, your arms, your head. And just notice if you can give a little bit more of your weight into the support of that soft, warm, dry sand. Letting yourself make just a little bit more of an imprint. Notice the breath as it comes in and leaves and the feeling of the sand. Imagining a sun perhaps above you warming the air and notice any sensations of warmness or coolness that are real for you right now. As you notice feelings, sensations of heaviness, notice if there are also sensations of lightness. And consider that you can experience sensations that are opposite at the same time. Warmth and coolness, heaviness, and lightness. And consider for just a moment if there's any experience of emotion happening for you right now. Notice where that emotion is expressing itself in your body and what that feels like. And then consider, does that emotion have an opposite? And is there a possibility of experiencing that opposite somewhere also within the body? And consider the possibility that both emotional experiences are possible at the same time. Notice the experience of breath in your body. And letting that experiment of opposites drift away, bring yourself back to that imagined feeling of being on a soft, warm, dry beach. The feeling of 
your legs and your back and your arms and your head. Notice the sound of your breath. And if you want to begin to bring awareness into the fingers by wiggling them, the wrists, maybe wiggle your toes and turn your ankles a little bit. Just wiggle and stretch. And in your own time, if you want to, you can roll onto one side. Pausing there for a beat. And not coming to sit until you're ready. I wanted to show you something. This is a homemade snow globe. I put some sand and some marbles and some shells in here to remind me of the beach. When I shake it, this is what my mind feels like when it's all stirred up. And I have a favorite quote from a Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu, who lived long ago. Lao Tzu said, do you have the patience to wait until the mud settles and the water is clear and right action arises all by itself. In turbulent times, when it's difficult to find clarity, when we've spent long hours at the computer, is there a tool, is there a way to let the mud settle to let our minds settle until there's clarity before we take action. I thank you so much for practicing with me today. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.